Here in Indiana, Planned Parenthood is applauding the judge's ruling, making the morning after pill more available. But opponents like Indiana Right to Life are predicting negative consequences. Derek Thomas has that part of our coverage. The case began in 2005 when the Center for Reproductive Services filed suit at Brooklyn Federal Court. In 2011, the Food and Drug Administration made the decision to limit the morning after pill to women 17 and older. In reversing that decision today, Judge Edward Corman called it politically motivated, scientifically unjustified, and contrary to agency precedent. Now, Plan B will be available to all females. Indiana Planned Parenthood is supportive. We would hope that the decisions would be based on science, not on politics. Uh, I know that the American Medical Association, the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology, the American Academy of Pediatrics have all called for this medication to be available over the counter to women of all ages. Indiana Right to Life is not pleased. It believes child molesters can take advantage of teenage girls and never be caught. We're disturbed in terms of the policy implications. Um, girls who are molested uh, can make that go away and the perpetrator can drive her there and take that and no one will ever have to find out. Indiana Right to Life wants the Obama administration to appeal this ruling. Derek Thomas, RTV6. Planned Parenthood says nearly half of all pregnancies that occur in the United States each year are unintended.